morning I did not go to the gym but I did still wake up early um, not as early but definitely woke up early the reason I didn't go to the gym is because yesterday when I was at the gym apparently I um, dislocated my knee possibly um, that's what it looks and feels like um, I, have a, I have a huge bulge um, on the side of my right knee I'm gonna insert the clip from yesterday um, where I, I think this is when it popped. And I, it didn't feel funny until I left the gym, but then after that, it was just like really tight. It's hard for me to bend my knee completely. Um, and it hurts like when I move certain ways and there's a big knot on the side. So I decided that maybe I just need to take, um, a day from the gym, as much as I don't want to, I may still do maybe like uh, some quick um, ab exercises or something just to get some activity in for the day. But that's why I'm not at the gym this morning. So I figured I'd take this opportunity to make some breakfast. Uh, my husband is sick, so I'm gonna make him some breakfast in bed also make myself some breakfast. Breakfast is one of the few um, meals that I like to make during the day. And that's my dog. He's only like 10 weeks and he literally cries all the time. But um, yeah, breakfast is one of the only meals I like to make because it's easy. It doesn't take a, long, a lot of time. Um, and you can, you don't really have to like get fancy with breakfast. You know, the basic breakfast stuff, eggs, toast. You know, you put some bis some frozen biscuits from the, from the um, freezer, in the oven, grits, a little bit of bacon or sausage, you know, and there's breakfast. Um, so yeah, we are gonna keep it simple today, but I just wanted to take you guys with me we can make some breakfast together. I'm still gonna keep it healthy. Um, since, you know, we are trying to stay fit. I don't want all the work I did yesterday. I don't want all the work I did yesterday to be in vain. So I am gonna keep it healthy. Um, but let me show you what I'm gonna be making. So the first thing I'm gonna make is some bacon, some turkey bacon. My husband doesn't eat pork and um, I occasionally eat it, like if I'm really feeling for like some pork bacon, but generally I don't eat pork either. So we get this turkey bacon. Um, I'm not a big fan of turkey bacon because to me it tastes like cardboard, like just keep it real. Um, but this bacon, um, and there's other brands as well that, that's made the same way, but this is turkey thighs, chopped turkey thighs. So it's it the texture is different. It's more meaty. Um, and once you fry it up, it tastes very similar as far as the texture. You know, like me personally for pork bacon, I like my bacon really crunchy. I know some people like their like theirs like soft and fatty. I like mine really crunchy. So I fry this down really hard and it gets crunchy like pork bacon. So anyway, turkey bacon. I'm also gonna make some um, pancakes. So let me show you the pancakes that I normally make. Tend to bake buttermilk pancakes. When I tell you these are the best pancakes you will ever have, I mean it. Like, you can get these from Walmart. You, I, you probably can get these from any grocery store, but I know that Walmart is like universal. So try Walmart first, but I'm, man, these are the best pancakes. And they actually had another 
flavor that was called, um, I can't remember what it was called. It was like maple, ma maple burst. That's what it was, maple burst. And um, it came in a, a orange box. And those were, oh my God, those were the best pancakes. And for some reason, they just stopped making them. Like I've been trying to find the maple burst pancakes for at least a year and a half now, probably. But those pancakes were so good. And they had like these little balls of like maple something. <laughs> maple and sugar little balls or something and oh god they were so good these are good too because these have um little flakes of i think butter or something in them so yeah anyway i normally make these um but today because we're on our healthy kick when i was at the grocery store i found these protein pancakes and so i'm gonna make these today and you know, hopefully they're just as good. Bear. Bear. That's enough, Bear. So, yeah, hopefully these are just as good. Um, also, I'm going to make some eggs, obviously, because you can't go wrong with eggs. So, what is that? Oh, yeah, turkey bacon, eggs, buttermilk pancakes. Oh, and then also my bananas are going bad. So I'm gonna give them one, one last chance uh, at life and make some smoothies. So my smoothies, um, they're really simple. It's just bananas. Um, I have a big bag of frozen strawberries, um, pineapples, oatmeal, and peanut butter. Yes pretty much all I put in my smoothies. I might add a little this or that every once in a while, but that's pretty much, you know, the recipe. And normally what I do with my bananas to prevent them from going bad, I chop them up and I put them in a Ziploc bag and I put them in the freezer because nine times out of 10, like we end up throwing the bananas in the trash, but I've been trying, trying really hard to use them all this time. So I didn't um, put them in the freezer because I figured I would use them this week. But normally, I just chop them up and freeze them. And then, it's probably some frozen ones in there now, but I don't feel like looking, plus these need to be used. Um, so yeah, that's what we're making today. Come on, come join me, let's go. All right, so we are going to start with our eggs. And what I'm doing is cutting up a few vegetables to go in the eggs. So the eggs will be more like um, an omelet minus the cheese. And the only reason I'm doing it this way is because my husband is getting over a cold. So um, when you're sick, you shouldn't eat a lot of cheese. You really shouldn't eat a lot of dairy, period. But um, so yeah, he shouldn't be eating any cheese and also, Cheese has a lot of fat in it, and girl, we trying to lose weight, so, you know. eggs itself I'm using four eggs and I'm not adding a lot of seasoning one thing that I did forget to add was pepper but it's okay um, this is just a little bit of almond milk and Tony Sriracha I don't know how to say that last name and I know you don't either but we're adding this too that was the only seasoning that I add mix it up a little bit and we're done with the eggs Next, I am prepping the turkey bacon and just using a little olive oil so it don't stick to pan. I do like to cut my turkey bacon in half. It just makes it easier 
to cook and normally I'm putting it on like a sandwich or something so I don't need a big long piece. And I did decide at the last minute to cook some um, beef sausage as well. Now onto the protein pancakes. I added one cup of the pancake mix and two thirds cups of water. I ended up adding like a drizzle more cause it was just a little too dry for me. To all my supporters, thank you so much for rocking with your girl. Show me that the love is real. Show me that you made it this far in the video. Go down to the comments below and let me know that you know the code word for today. The code word is bacon. All right, I'm pouring the first pancake and I let that sit for maybe like 30 seconds. My rule of thumb when I'm cooking pancakes is once you start to see the air bubbles pop on the top of the pancake, that's when you know it's time to flip. All right, the vegetables for the eggs are good and sauteed. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the egg mixture and you know, just cook it like regular eggs. Now onto the turkey bacon. Do you see how it's um, how it's getting crispy? Very similar to um, pork bacon. And you have to make sure that you flip it so you can get both sides crispy. Here's the eggs looking good. And voila, you see that? That's what you call breakfast. On to the shake, adding my bananas and my strawberries, a few canned pineapples, and some more almond milk. And give it a shake, shake, shake. All right, gonna add some oatmeal and blend the smoothie until the big chunks are gone. Then we're gonna add our peanut butter. This is the secret ingredient, y'all. It makes it so creamy, it adds flavor, plus peanut butter has a lot of protein in it. Add your ice, and once it's this texture, it's done. All right, breakfast is served, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat, and now I am left with a dirty kitchen. So I'm gonna have a video coming up, of course, me cleaning the kitchen. Hopefully you're playing with me. Hopefully you're eating breakfast with me this morning. And hopefully you're following my journey. If not, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, all of that. Let me know some videos that you want to see. Let me know what you made for breakfast. Let me know what you're cleaning today. Let me know if you're traveling. Let me know what you got going on. All of that. Till next time. Bye, girl.